Next question came in anonymously as well. What can one do when the leadership of one's organization sees reliability as burden and too costly? Is the leadership plays a very, very key role in uh, implementing best practices, standards, all those kinds of things. Changing that mindset is not easy. Every place I go is a big issue. And especially I found this is not a joke, it's not it's a truth. Your own people won't listen to you. You have to bring someone from outside mm -hmm. to talk to them. The, all my other friends have done, they got me in their place and I get them to my place, these expert industry experts, talk to my management. What is the best practice? Where to go? What to do? Again, you have to educate them. I have taken my bosses forcefully to conferences to go and talk to the people, go to benchmarking trip. It takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. It's a long journey. And that's a kind of creating a right culture. So. Maybe I'll add in a little bit of a different spin to this. I actually think leadership in every single organization does see reliability as mm. an extremely important factor within their business. If you ask any leader within you know, or operations team, they're going to say reliability uptime is critically important to their business. I think where the point comes from, where it's burdensome and costly is, is oftentimes everyone has their own opinion of how to approach reliability. And everyone has a different prioritization list of what's important, what's the most important, what's least important. And I think the reason why it's so important, we're oftentimes very helpful to bring in a third party or a consultant into the business is because there are so many different opinions. The third party consultant is able to like capture all the different opinions from everyone and bring it into like a cohesive plan that's theoretically unbiased. You are right. Again, I think talk management, the deep talk management is easy. They understand it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They, you have to just tell the few things they understand problem comes at the below middle level that's what mostly mm -hmm. problem challenges are also maintenance i call this a lot of time maintenance now i got now they got a seat at the boardroom in the past maintenance was ignored is a necessary unnecessary evil okay you give some money they'll take care of our equipment i think that mindset is changing now I've seen big improvement in the top management thinking the, how they see the maintenance. There are the cost center, they help you to increase the productivity and the bottom line.